ओके Yes, so we are starting with the uh, modes. We yes, have yesterday we ended here and we discussed the IoT uh, deployments. Then uh, design challenges we have seen in last lecture, and this was the slide. So what are the modes? So this mode when in the in the IoT or WSN deployment that was this chapter that we are studying. This wireless sensor network consists of a network networked. Sensor objects are there, and in each say is this each what you can say uh, sensor is connected to a node, and node has got communication capacity, preferably wireless communication capability, and then this nodes this uh, what you can say this nodes will be communicating with you no know, maybe reader or gateway device through the defined protocol, and then this this gateway device is through internet connected to your application. Okay. so this was regarding the wsn deployment now every this node that we have seen it has to do some task that is you no know, to interface with the sensor collect activate or this communicate with the sensor get that sensor data and then process the sensor data locally collect the data process the data store the data and then upload the data to the what you can say uh, cloud services or no your application server through the wsn wireless sensor network maybe there might be gateway device or edge device in case of now iot networks and it will work so on so this node is now we are studying what is that thing? what is that so they in, in this no uh, wireless sensor network terminology this nodes they are called as modes okay and nowadays we also refer them as modes or node or io generally now we refer them as objects simply and these are ioe objects or rather than another name or another reference for this thing as they are actually nowadays thing things okay so internet of things so ioe internet of everything it has iot and these things and things actually they represent not i don't say represent but yeah they are some of what you can say advanced modes i will say that advanced modes okay because now these things are heterogeneous nowadays a watch can be a thing your mobile phone can be a thing or an object or oh, node mcu connected to maybe a dme 280 is also a thing is also a thing and this mode consists of this node mcu connected to your internet and its sensors so always these things when we say for iot things are having much more powerful capabilities as compared to modes and much more wider applications so this is the fundamental that you all should understand so they mainly can this modes consist of three parts these are actually i'll say that you no know, uh, your nodes in your wsm networks okay and this they are low cost and low power computer it has got so on board controller they have then the computer or it's uh, as i can see i can show you here suppose now this is also one mode i have i have got and one sensor also i have got i will show you but yeah already we have seen that thing so yes so consists of low cost power and low power computer so yes here you can see this is the microcontroller having io lines and wireless communication so this is a one requirement it is satisfying and this computer monitors one or more large sensors okay the sensors may be for temperature light sound position acceleration depending on your application where are main stress where right? we have seen this in the first lecture so here you can see one sensor bme 280 uh, temperature pressure and humidity it can be uh, one sensor uh, can capture three uh, this uh, physical uh, quantities and it can uh, be sensed it when can it can be digitized and in this node can process that thing and then this computer connects to the outside world with a radio link okay so we we thought of this thing node mcu and this one sensor you can see these two things now they actually build a mode so precisely here you can see this board and everything power supply is there it is mounted now let us see this example of our mobile phone this is also now this when we say ioe this is also a thing in when when this is considered so 
the in mode basically consists of a low cost and low power computer it has got low <laughs> computer but it is not low cost or low power typically actually low power can be seen because this has got portable battery power supply and it has got computer which which is much more powerful but yes portable things is there then it has got monitor it is the computer mode has one or more sensor so now in this typical mobile phone they have got this light sensor camera sensors are there then gyrometers are there voice this speaker is there then uh, this uh, some mobile phone they have no uh, this fingerprint sensor is also there this mobile phone then light sensor means incident light sensor is there a touch sensors are there here you can say then position sensors are there x y z position sensor so uh, accelerometer is also there inside this mobile phone so and then this computer connects to the outside world with the radio link obviously this has got its own modem 4g 5g modem is there and it can communicate with the external world through my uh, application server i can design and run the application here so yes this is also a mode but now it is much more than a mode it has got no low, it is it has not got any low power computer it has got very high power computer and it has got very high bandwidth link because of that thing it can do lots of things so now now when we say ioe concept is there so this modes they have emerged that things so your mobile phone can be thought of a more of a thing okay more of a thing your your node mcu also is a more of a thing because as compared that modes that we'll see now in the coming slides uh, this modes will be uh, much more what you can say or this is I, as i told you now this concept is of uh, of more relevant to this um, more relevant to wsn but when we say this ioe this modes are thing and they are much more powerful because not because uh, not because that they are powerful because they are because of this uh, vlsi technology and this no advanced uh, electronics uh, systems and design we can power we can uh, what you can say have more compute power as uh, in the small size so here can, that's why here you can see this uh, node mcu or even even not this thing here you can say this raspberry pi so raspberry pi has got own operating you have to install operating system then it may be powered up with no separate power supply then display can be attached and then io lines are there can be seen here on the io lines and wireless communication capacity is there wired communication capacity is there so and then this can monitor sensor this can be connected to internet this can act as a device and uh, lots of devices can be connected and it can do also lots of things so this is a mode also this is a thing also more of the thing so when we say this mode concept purely then one closest example that we have is this node mcu or this no alter they are now more or less of that thing additionally things may be required is that they should have their own portable power supply that can be any time arranged okay so yes these are the modes hmm? so what they have now this Uh, this is a typical block diagram simplest one i have two more uh, one or couple of more they are there so this is first one so we are having this microcontroller so in case of this uh, your node mcu we are having the 8266 microcontroller is there and then then the power source uh, which is uh, maybe uh, you can connect external power supply of 3.3 volt to 5 volt power supply you can connect then it has got internal memory and as well as external memory you can connect in case of node mcu as of now uh, directly you cannot connect external memory but on board ram on board ram or on board storage rom you can use that thing for local processing purpose then it has got its own adc yes and then sensor one sensor two depending on your node you can connect so if i say that bma280 though it, that can be one sensor then dht11 can be other sensor like this thing you can go on adding the sensors so that depending on your application you can send it and transceiver is there so here typically this node mcu chip i can see the chip which is you know wifi chip and this can be uh, this is a 2.4 gigahertz compatible 802.11h compatible is there i can see here 802.11h compatible transceiver can be seen here and that can communicate to wireless network on the wireless network with this 802.811h capabilities and it it is having frequency band 2.4 gigahertz so that transmit it will transmit and receive or communicate to the wireless network using this 
transceiver so these are the typical function exactly things can be seen here only thing uh, that is not here is the sensor but yes now sensors are available here you can see so if these three these two things together yes this is the typical thing yeah one more i have here you can say at mega 1281 this is a microcontroller and this is quite no the 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 one now that i i am showing this thing on camera that is later one this is quite older diagram so this modes used to means i almost no i'll say that 10 to 15 years back that time this node mc was not there so they to build uh, wsns so they use this 8 mega then uh, infrared receiver is there then adcs then light sensor pipe brain temperature sensor then actuator is there so power through uh, that it could connect to power supply or external uh, entities which can uh, perform this uh, we have seen this actuator so like here you can connect the step motor stepper motor on this channel or digital lines same thing then uh, accelerometer sensor uh, humidity and temperature sensor then here external ram this flash ram is there flash rom is there external memory that is said here so zigbee transceiver is there so zigbee is a protocol and it is uh, used for you no know, wired wireless communication kind of thing wired communication kind of thing so this zigbee transceiver is there so on the zigbee communication line you can this port uh, can communicate so it has got transceiver analog to digital converter actuators for you no know, sensor meter interfacing then data storage processing We are we are having this management unit that is your MCU microcontroller eight eight mega microcontroller communication unit. So similar one. So this uh, this modes now I don't have any mode. I showed you this node MCU and power source obviously. So here portable things are there. So so power source has to be on board has to be on board. So definitely yes we can connect the power bank to this node MCU and very well it can be driven. in a portable manner so one example for this is mica 2 mode this is one name so maybe in the exam they ask what are modes give some example with their capacities and their no typical uh, construct uh, what you can say details so this mica that time you this people use and uh, used to purchase this thing and one more thing i will just uh, mention that thing here is that Uh, here you can see the sensors. No, they are on board. Here you can see different kind of sensors are there. Sensors and actuators, they are on board. So more or less, no flexibility is not that much. But here because of this, no, I will say the discrete design of this node MCU base ecosystem. You are having this. So for example, I'll I'll just tell you. Here you can see now this this one thing on camera. I'll show you. And this is node MCU. This is the board. so now this no node mcu connected board is there so i can just this this node mcu i can put it here i can mount this thing on this board okay it is mounted then these are the io lines power supply and this another power supply so i can connect now various sensor here and i can build highly custom application using this board so we are talking about now latest things so what you can see here it is a less flexible here you can see or less customizable less customizable things are there but yes yeah this is example of mode so it is kind of a bundle thing and in a bundle of mica 2 what we will get you are going to get this thing this mode are sold by this uh, crossbow were originally developed at the university of california okay and this mica 2 modes are based on the at mega 128 this avr microprocessor run tiny os they are having your even this you know uh, what you can say this uh, node mcu or this uh, arduino no they have very small bootstrap loaders okay they will just boot up the things and very basic they they don't have technically os or very small footprint of os okay they it will this os will just simply no boot up the thing boot up the microcontroller and then in the flash ram uh, in the uh, that uh, program vector it will point towards your program and simply it will run that thing so that is the your they also have very basic so tiny os is very basic os it will just no on board microcontroller memory management storage management sensor io line management kind of things are there so very small put in kbs this no tiny os has the footprint and mica 2 mode is one of the most popular commercially available sensors was actually nowadays now as i told you you can build your own customizable modes using your node mcu 
and tell off smooth is another one so about usb programming capability nowadays here you can see that at me this uh, node mcu has got usb programming capacity okay and i triple 802.1.5 for compliant high data radio okay so i just shown you the node uh, why i am giving why i am giving comparison because you should understand what this were the standards before 10 to 15 years and what you are having so you may say that we don't have telos mode we don't have micro mode so what you have you have arduino you have node mcu you have raspberry pi you have uh, if you want to do much more powerful gpu uh, based uh, what you can say programming and kind of thing then you are having nvidia jetson boards so all these advanced boards are there means jetson board is very high capable gpu not like no actual gaming uh, micro pc but as far as our portable uh, what you can say computer is concerned like raspberry pi so it has got power of 100 raspberry pi kind of thing okay nvidia jetson board so depending on what new, what type of what level of compute you want you can go on selecting or customizing your you know application uh, architecture so yes application hardware architecture i am saying so 802.11h we have seen it for 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency it is coming because telox mode this is one of the advance where it had i had 802.15.4 compliant high data radio okay with integrated antenna and low power microcontroller okay so extended memory and optional sensor suit is optional sensor suit is obviously also we are having with node mcu optional sensor suit okay depending on your application you can connect uh, various sensor to it so here you can see this telos mode here yeah. so it is the power leds are there then here i triple uh, this radio uh, input then various sensors are there the extension for to connect uh, here you can see you had to connect this sensors here so actually the soldering and other things were required but now things are quite what you can say simple then here usb uh, mega this usb pin is there and now this uh, your node mcu you has got micro usb here to program the things it has got its own id and the arduino id is that can be used and program this uh, uh, node mcu mode and there there is something called node 32 it has got no onboard bluetooth on board low power low power bluetooth low energy is there uh, communication plus uh, uh, wifi that is 802.11 uh, computer wifi so both capital uh, this is one advanced one node 32 okay uh, it also referred as room room board is there okay so this telos mode it can be seen here and uh, actually the size wise they are also you can see this uh, as compared to this so usb port and its size you can think of the how much big is there it is almost here width is 5 cm by almost 10 cm uh, approximately you are you can see the width and here at 1 1 cm thickness and this is another example of telos mode so here you can see this sensor board so <laughs> this sensor board used to be connected to the telos mode so here magnetometer 2 axis accelerometer 4 kilohertz speaker then 51 pin mica inter mica 2 interface can be seen so here you can you could connect this thing to mica mode well, i will i will show you this mica picture maybe in the next uh, today i don't have maybe yeah yeah so on this lines we could connect this sensors and light and temperature sensor microphone so nowadays you can have, you can simply connect the uh, this no speaker or magnetometer sensor separately sensor boards are like here you can see this uh, bme 280 sensor is there humidity pressure temperature sensor and using this io lines i can connect this thing to the serial port of serial lines of this uh, node mc or arduino or raspberry pi and i can simply go on reading the data simply go on reading the data. so they, this nowadays this technology is almost you know, what you can say uh, moots technology outdated and it has got uh, it has become discrete one discrete in the sense that now all this you no know, typically depending on your need you don't you don't need to buy the full mode full board rather you can uh, buy individual sensors and reduce the cost that is kind of thing okay so another example of sensor board so here it has got mainly gps functionality boards are there gps uh, module is there now this we get uh, have separate gps module so here you can see this hardware setup overview so this modes can be seen here here 1 2 3 modes are there then this here uh, this laptop is connected to this communication interface wifi and this modes are traveling and here you can see the sensor that data reading so quite old i had this laptop for just for you exactly same one i had <laughs> ibm thinkpad 
uh, in 19, 2007 i purchased that laptop so that time this this is the deployment that this is the typical wsn setup is a typical wsn setup now in your mini project you can have multiple node mcu for no smart home or kind of thing that is a wsn setup a smart home these wireless sensor nodes they are communicating uh, with the uh, your central uh, your device like raspberry pi or your mobile phone for or last time i remember that one student had a smart parking system and there multiple slots were controlled by this multiple node mcu and they were centrally managed by the computer and mobile application and that was a smart system yeah so programming boards optional are there here you can see that uh, mib pi 20 board so it has got uh, this uh, rs serial interface and using that uh, serial interface we could actually connect this uh, here you can see this programming board and this seen here and this programming board yes so functional layers are there so in your normal your computer networks we are having seven layers seven osi layers are there na apst ndp application presentation session uh, then transport uh, network data link uh, uh, network data link and physical so like this thing this layers are there you know seven osi layers in case of this wsn this layers are uh, i'll say that list number of layers are there okay so here you can see typical in a uh, wsn functionality layer decomposition this is one layer here can be seen that sensor net application and second is data link and third is your physical architecture so here yeah, yeah. last what you can say so layers are there so idea is that uh, how this data is moving at what level which layer is performing the task so here you can see the sensor mid protocol mainly this is actually what actually it is communicating with the sensor okay to get the data so uh, on the sensor lines then uh, clock then synchronization of the sensors the sensors will be giving you analog data we have to actually convert that into or you can say digital one so all that things this they is it is done by the sensor mid protocol then data link layer is there so once this data you are having in a digital how this uh, digital format how is data packets are there for each network each sensor may read in and how this uh, uh, data packets are sent over uh, the internet or your communication medium like, like zigbee was there like wifi is there like 802.1181802.11b i triple e compliant standards are there so it will be transferred and there are in media access time stamping coding assembly acknowledgement to for successful transfer of data from point a to point b this and then and then we are having this energy storage carrier sensing transmit receive that what your modulator this ha modulating hardware that is used like here you are having core on this node this is the hardware so to with this hardware actually it is communicating so to interface like mac layer is there so physical layer is there so lan card is there on that or wireless mo modem is there on that layer so is having that job so here you can see this uh, various uh, board telos board is there mica z mica 2 then dot board are there mica uh, original mica board is there and then these are the various no communication standard v mac s mac k mac s0.15.4 this they are using this uh, communication standard com standard for what you can say sending up and downloading and uploading the data to various so generally this modes they use the push kind of thing or publish uh, the packets now this we are having uh, in case of our latest ioe deployments we are having this mqtt protocol we are having the coa constant application protocol which will be doing the job which we are going to see this in this model only okay so nodes protocol and higher applications we are going to read data from this sensors so here we'll stop uh, because now this is another concept that is the 8266 log diagram is there esk8266 uh, we'll see this thing in our next lecture again i will add uh, today only to this slide that uh, node 32 also possible so that is latest one contained beyond syllabus we'll discuss so that you will have an idea 
uh, how this have you know evolved nowadays for your practical use how these things are there we'll see okay so let me stop